Hey fam! So welcome back po sa ating vlog. My name is Yuki and ako po yung daddy sa family po na ito. And that's my daughter back there. And we are very happy and I'm very glad that you could join us once again dito sa ating love series. So if you're new to the channel, please kindly hit the like button and subscribe po. So dun sa last vlog po natin, the first topic that we talked about is how to get ready for love. And naiintindihan natin kung gano'n ba ka-importante na maging handa bago tayo pumasok sa isang relationship. And for this second vlog, what we want to talk about is to date or not to date. As a Christian, okay lang bang pumasok sa isang relationship? Okay lang bang mag-boyfriend? Okay lang bang mag-girlfriend? So, yun po yung ating pag-uusapan sa vlog na ito. So, guys, I hope you watch the video until the very end kasi I'm sure this will once again widen your perspective when it comes to love. So, kailan po ba dapat tayo pumasok sa isang relationship? The common belief or the common standard among the Christian community is kapag tayo po ay mature enough na para intindihin yung totoong reality of love. Kapag handa na po tayong bitawan ang mga romantic fantasies natin at kaya na po natin i-embrace yung Christian definition of a grounded relationship. So, I think that's the first na kailangan natin naintindihan bago tayo pumasok sa isang relationship. We are mature enough to let go of childish romantic fantasies and just see relationship as it is. Pangalawa, I think we can enter into a relationship kapag we are mature enough to take full responsibility of our actions. Kung nasa tamang pag-iisip ka na para siguraduhin na kaya mong sagutin yung responsibilidad ng pagre-relationship. Kasi going into a relationship ay hindi po paglalaro yan ng bahay-bahayan. It's more than that. It's more powerful than that. And And we know you learn me. Aray, huy. And, and Ano? What? And thirdly, also love each other. Yeah, we also love each other, okay? Even when you make mistakes. Yeah, even when we make mistakes. And thirdly is... Sometimes we made a mistake, big mistake, but you still love each other. Ay, wait, me. It's my, it's my vlog. Wait lang. And thirdly po, kapag we are mature enough, hindi lang sa pag-iisip, hindi lang sa emosyon, pati sa edad. Okay, bakit? Kasi huwag kang papasok sa relationship kung ang pinang-de-date mo ay hinihingi mo pa lang sa magulang mo. Don't enter into a relationship kung hindi mo pa kayang sagutin yung pang-date mo, hindi mo pa kaya sagutin yung kakainin ng ililigawan mo, or kung, kung ikaw ay babae, no? Huwag kang makikipag-date kung wala ka pang capability na bayaran yung kalahati ng bill. Okay, hindi ko po sinasabi na dapat yung babae lagi nagbabayad ng half. Ang ibig ko pong sabihin is, as a girl, at least you have the capability to care for yourself. Don't wait for other guys to take care of you. Hindi, kailangan bago ka pumasok sa isang relationship, you can take care of yourself. Unang-una sa lahat, mature enough to let go of romantic fantasies na napanood natin sa libo-libong mga movies and the Korean series or mga kung ano-anong mga telenovela. Number two, we are mature enough to take responsibility of our actions. And pangatlo po, and pangatlo po is Financially, we are capable of going on a date. And I think you are also ready to enter into a relationship kung ready ka nang mag-sakripisyo. 
Kung papasok ka sa isang relationship at gusto mo yung partner mo, yung nagsasakripisyo para sa'yo, then wag kang pumasok sa isang relationship kasi magiging pabigat ka lang. Ako nang nagsasabi sa'yo. Now, if you are ready to enter into a relationship kung saan ikaw ang willing magsakripisyo para sa partner mo, then ibig sabihin, naiintindihan po natin yung isa sa mga importanteng aspeto sa relationship and this will also help when you enter into marriage ito po yung pagsasakripisyo if you are not willing to sacrifice then i don't recommend that you go into a relationship or even get into marriage kasi papahirapan mo lang yung sarili mo papahirapan mo lang yung magiging asawa mo ang totoong godly relationship kasi is nakukuha mo yung saya yung pleasure yung joy by giving, not by receiving. Yung po yung totoong godly relationship. You know, you, you are happy and you get happiness and you get joy when you sacrifice for your partner. Yung tipong inuuna mo siya kaysa sa sarili mo, kapag ganun na yung mindset natin, then approve. Okay na yan. And lastly po, the main reason why you should enter into a relationship is kung handa na po tayong mag-settle down. As Christians, I don't believe that we should date around. Kailangan, yung mindset natin is, kaya tayo papasok sa relationship, is para makita po natin yung potential na taong gusto natin pakasalan. Pero, if it's not in your mind to settle down, then I think it's better to really build yourself first. Mas maganda po yun na ma-build muna natin yung sarili natin, yung happiness natin, kailangan maging secure muna tayo sa sarili natin bago tayo pumasok sa isang relationship kung saan hanapin natin yung security natin with them. Okay, so that's not how relationship should work. Bago ka pumasok sa isang relationship, you need to be secure of yourself first. When you're ready to settle down, then that's also a good sign to enter into a relationship. Okay, ngayon, papasok na po ako sa isa sa mga bagay na kung saan hindi po ako sang ayon. Now, I'm saying this again to give you a wider perspective when it comes to dating. Ano po ba itong common mindset na ito na hindi po ako nag agree The belief that I don't agree with is, listen carefully, yung taong sasagutin mo ay yung dapat taong papakasalan mo. O yung taong nililigawan mo is dapat sigurado ka na siya na yung papakasalan mo. Okay, uulitin ko isa pa. Yung isa po sa mga common belief that I don't agree with is <coughs> yung taong nililigawan mo is yung tao na dapat handak mong pakasalan. Or yung tao na nangliligaw sa'yo kapag sinagot mo yan, dapat mong pakasalan. I don't believe in that mindset. So, wait lang po. Wait lang. Bago po kayo mag-skip ng video po na ito, let me just explain why it should not be that way or bakit hindi ko siya pinapaniwalaan. The reason is, love is a decision. Love is not something that you decide on upon feeling. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-decide dahil sa emosyon mo. And you can't decide to marry someone Because you feel like it. That's not how it works. Yung salitang love or deciding to love someone should be done after getting to know them deeper, getting to know who they are, getting to see what they are and what they do in different kinds of situation and kung anong klaseng amoy meron sila. Eh, syempre, amoy kasi pag mabaw, ayaw mo nang pakasalan. No. So, ibig sabihin, You don't decide who to marry at the early stage of courtship. So, yung iba sa inyo sinasabi, eh, kaya nga sinagot ko yan eh. Kaya ko nga siya sinagot kasi nakilala ko na siya. Handa na ako siyang pakasalan. Or, kaya ko nga siya niligawan kasi, alam mo yun, gusto ko na siyang pakasalan. Ready na akong pakasalan siya. That's not love, okay? That's not love. Hindi po love yun. Infatuation lang po yun. Okay, meron po kasing apat na level ng love and meron ding apat na level of getting to know someone. And lahat po yun, gusto kong i-explain dito. Unang-una sa lahat, courtship, dating, engagement, okay, and marriage. 
Yan po yung apat na level kung saan mas makikilala natin yung tao na nangliligaw sa atin or nililigawan natin. Sa courtship, syempre, girls, boys. Alam naman natin na sa courtship stage, hindi mo ipapakita yung mga pangit mong ugali. At saka sa courtship stage, madalas, no, sobrang you feel very infatuated na parang nasa cloud nine ka. Tama ba? Ang sarap ng nililigawan ka, ang sarap ng nangliligaw ka, ang sarap na, ang sarap, masarap yung pakiramdam na yon. Pero at that stage, at that level, you won't be learning the true intentions of that person or you really won't be understanding who they are. Kasi sa courtship pa lang, marami pa yan tinatago sa sarili niya. And kahit mangligaw sa'yo yan, isang taon, dalawang taon, tatlong taon, iba pa rin ang magiging ugali niya kapag kayo na. Pag nagsimula na kayo, pumasok sa dating stage or mag-boyfriend at mag-girlfriend na kayo, iba na ang ugali niyan. Doon mo na makikilala at makikita kung sino talaga siya. So, dapat after ng dating stage mo pa lang, masasabi na mahal mo ba siya o hindi. After dapat ng dating stage, doon ka pa lang dapat mag-decide kung love mo ba siya o hindi. Dito kasi sa courtship time, it's more it's more of a I like you instead of I love you. I love you. I love you too. Aww. And of course, after ng dating stage, kapag love mo na siya, nakilala mo na kung sino siya, dyan napapasok yung engagement. So, pagdating sa engagement, medyo natatanaw-tanaw mo na. Ito na, dito na lumalabas yung, yung buong personality nila. No, people change. Okay po? People change and throughout the, throughout the years that you will be together, magbabago po yung ugali niya. Magbabago po kung sino siya. Kaya nga napaka-importante na sa dating stage pa lang, makilala mo na yung core niya, yung totoong sino siya, yung alam mong magiging ugali niya. And syempre, marriage is the highest form of getting to know someone. Yung asawa ko ngayon, we, we, we've been together for 12 years. 12 years na ba tayo? 12 years na ba tayo? Ha? So, kami ng asawa ko, 12 years na po kami. 4 years of dating and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 8 years of marriage. Masasabi ko talaga sa inyo na iba nung courtship, iba nung dating, iba nung engage kami, at iba nung kami ay mag-asawa na. So we can't really decide to love someone or to marry someone unless we know who they are. Because it's very impossible na makilala yung pagkatao ng isang tao sa courtship phase ng relationship. And in the Bible, meron pong apat na klase ng love na tinatawag. Meron yung tinatawag na Eros, Phileos, Storge, tsaka Agape. Pwede nyong ikumpara yung apat na love na ito sa uh, apat na stages of getting to know someone. Yung Eros love, yan yung parang more of infatuation. It's more about mutual attraction or physical attraction. So you can't really say that you love that person kasi uh, more on physical attraction yan. Gusto mo siyang mahalikan, gusto mo siyang yakapin, gusto mo siyang ka-holding hands, yung tipong pag tinititigan mo siya, kinikilig ka, parang naiihi ka. Eros love yan. Okay? And yun yung dahilan kung bakit nililigawan ka ng tao kasi attracted sila sa'yo at gusto ka pa nilang makilala. Na kung natuwa ka sa kanya, sagutin mo. At ikaw lalaki, dahil natuwa sa'yo yung babae, sinagot ka, ay matuwa ka. Pero that's not the basis of love. Ngayon, pagdating nyo sa mag-boyfriend-girlfriend stage, doon mo pa lang sila makikilala. Ngayon, of course, bias po ako sa Christian view of relationship and Christian view of love. Kailangan pag nagde-date tayo, syempre, kumbaga, dapat we are keeping the godly boundaries. Okay po, yung, yung mga relationship boundaries na dapat natin kinikip. Yung dating stage, it's more of a filio kind of love. It's friendship love. One of the best foundation of any relationship is friendship. So, dun papasok yung filio love. And, Kapag nakikilala mo na siya, napapalapit na siya sa'yo, nagugustuhan mo na siya lalo, then papasok na kayo ngayon sa 
uh, storge kind of love, which is yung love mo for your family. Kumbaga, habang lumalalim ng lumalalim yung bond nyo, tapos nakikita mo na siya parang as part of your family, then yung sunod na klase ng love is something that you need to decide on yourself. And ito po yung tinatawag na agape love or yung God's kind of love. And pagdating sa agape love, this is more about your decision to sacrifice for yourself, for your partner. So, dito na papasok yung talagang handa ka ng pakasalan siya. Kasi nga katulad ng sabi ko kanina, if you're not willing to die for your partner, then don't go into a relationship with them. Kailangan papasok ka sa isang relationship na naintindihan mo yung God's kind of love, yung agape love, yung sacrificial love, commitment kind of love, yung love na kung saan it's based on decision. Uh, you decided to love this person despite of who they are. At masasabi mo lang yung despite of who they are kapag kilalang kilala mo na siya. So, yun po yung four stages. Again, I'm not telling you to date around. Hindi. Uh, maghanap ka ng magiging boyfriend mo or girlfriend mo kung handa ka ng mag-settle down. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na yung taong sasagutin mo ay yun, yun, yun na yung taong dapat mong pakasalan. O yung taong na gusto mo tapos nililiga mo. Ibig sabihin ay siya na dapat yung pakasalan mo. Hindi. Get to know them first before deciding on marrying them. Bakit nga hindi maganda? Ang gulo ko kanina pa ako. So, bakit hindi maganda? Hindi siya maganda sa maraming dahilan. And, bakit ba nauso yung ganitong mindset? Kasi, pasensya na kayo guys, medyo mahaba na ulit yung video natin. Puputulin ko na po siya dito. If you would like to hear more, then please kindly hit the like button. Subscribe po kayo and uh, i-click nyo po yung notification bell to be updated po sa susunod nating upload. So thank you guys and have a good day.